has a plan until you get punched in the mouth. And this last week I got punched in the mouth pretty hard and I'm still reeling from it and I still don't really know how to counter punch yet. What's up everybody? Here we are. We're a little over uh, one week post show right now from the Battle at the River. Do I need to say all this stuff? It's not really relevant anymore. We're one week post show. Not really looking ahead to anything, We're looking back at things. I need to be looking ahead at things. Um, this is usually where I would say, you know, let's dive in and see like how things look, how things feel. What are the next steps? What are the changes that we've implemented? And I'm gonna cut to the chase and say, none of that stuff is relevant. I don't have anything to look at. I don't have anything to show you. Really, I was debating like, do I even do this video this week? Because I don't really have anything to offer you guys. But I think it's kind of important to see this and you can kind of see like how quickly things can turn. Clearly, like, I've had some extenuating circumstances here, but there are a lot of people, like, it's not an uncommon thing to go through prep, be totally fired up, have a great time, show comes and goes, and you still find yourself without any um, outside circumstances that are really messing things up in a position like this, where you're kind of, like, aimless, struggling to do much. It's the post-show blues. It's what people talk about, where it's like you're building up towards this goal. The goal goes away, and then you're like, okay, now what? What do I do? You just don't do anything. So for me, it's a little different. So today is Tuesday, the 18th of June. And it was eight days ago on Monday when my mom passed away. And so I made it out here just in time. So I had the show on Saturday, flew out here on Sunday quite unexpectedly. It was very sudden um, and made it here. And on Monday, she passed away. So. I made it here in time, um, and I've just been here since dealing with everything else that comes up as a result of that, as best I can. Um, it's not entirely my responsibility. I'm helping out my brothers and my dad as much as possible. Um, and it's very easy to say, like, well, you know, it's okay. Like, you know, other things can take priority. I'm like, yeah, but at the same time, I, I tend to wake up pretty early. I don't have 24 hours a day of stuff to do. Like, I could go to the gym, I could work out, and I have. I have a few times. And it has been an absolute, unmitigated waste of time. Completely. There hasn't been a single quality rep executed in like the four days that I've gone. Um, and part of it is because here's the real crux of the whole thing. So, my plan after the show, if all was going smooth, was to take the week off after the show. Take the week off. I had my plan in place, my revised diet, my meal plan revisions were already in place, I had shopped, I would prepped, I was ready to go, I left all that behind, <laughs> because I end up crossing the country the day after the show. So I arrive here very much impromptu, nothing prepared, nothing like that at all, um, and so the whole situation with grief and stress takes over. Let's try that again. My Cameras on a really weak tripod here. The whole situation with grief and stress takes over, and suddenly it's just like, I don't give a shit about my diet right now. I mean, I kind of do, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna go with the flow and eat what, oh, somebody's picking up this? Great, I'll have some of that. Oh, brother wants to go out, dad wants to, you know, go out and get some food? Cool, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna eat whatever, I don't care. And eventually that gave way to like, well, now I'm just going to eat for comfort and eat to medicate myself and so I feel like crap like I don't know how much I weigh at this point but it's a lot we're, we're up a good bit here and frankly I'm in a position now where I don't really care I will care in another week or two um, but right now um, as uh, I like to attribute the quote to Mike Tyson everybody has a plan until you get punched in the mouth and this last week I got punched in the mouth pretty hard and I'm still reeling from it and I still don't really know how to counter punch yet so um, it's, what time is it? I have no idea. Nothing's telling me the time here. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, something like that. Um, I have a red-eye flight back home tonight. So I'll leave for the airport here around 8.30, drop off my car at 10, flight boards at like 11.30. So it's like a midnight, 12.15 flight, something like that. I'll arrive in Knoxville around 10.30 in the morning on Wednesday. I'll be a zombie. Um, take Wednesday off, probably take Thursday off, 
maybe take Friday out. But here's the thing: like I haven't had a chance to really celebrate the show or properly grieve for mom yet or anything. And so I don't know. I don't know what to do right now except to take it day by day and just chill out. And my goal when I do this video next week is to maybe not be ready to execute a plan, but to kind of know what the plan is. Like, what are the next several months going to look like and how am I going to game that out? So that's kind of where I'm at right now. That, that's really the goal. So if I can do that, I will consider these next few days to be successful. If I don't do anything productive in terms of the gym, that's fine. Like, I'm still physically exhausted. I have been sleeping better, so there's that. I've got that going for me at least. Um, it's just, uh, it's not great. The situation is not great. Um, both in terms of family, in terms of stress, in terms of post-show rebound, it's not great. It is what it is though. And um, am I stressed about it? Not really, not that, like, whatever. It just, it kind of helps reframe things. Like, you know, I'm not giving up or anything like that, but like how important is this stuff like this week? I mean, I would like to have done a little bit better than I did, but at the same time, it's like, whatever, you know, I can only care so much, right? And there's no value in stressing over it. And what I want to do now is just kind of like, stop, <laughs> stop eating so that I feel like I hate myself. Um, if I can avoid that, like that'll be, that's a good first step. It's pretty reasonable. So anyway, there's your full transparency for the week. I have nothing meaningful to show you guys, nothing meaningful to tell you. Um, I've done nothing productive. I've gone backwards a whole bunch. It has nothing to do with post-show blues. Like the plan was in place. I was set up for a good rebound, but then stuff happens and you just have to roll with that a little bit. So that's all I've got for this week. Um, well wishes, always welcome. Anybody, questions? Um, if you've gone through similar things yourself, certainly leave a comment. Let's talk about it. Um, that's all I've got. So appreciate everyone hanging in there. Continued support. Always appreciated as well. I will be back next week and hopefully with something a little bit more productive to build on from there.